It started in March 1997, on one fateful Saturday afternoon, five musicians gathered at John DeJaga's house and jammed some well-known tunes. <laughs> there and then, Demon Flower was born. She became title track of the first demo in November 1997, which included Darkland, Angel and Virgin Gold. <laughs> You did a very, very well job. This is me, John. This is John. Yeah! Win. Counting the money is off now. Get any of the winners.
In 1999, Arcana went into recording at Radical Real Rocks. In 2000, he met with their first debut album, Fallen From Grace. Fallen From Grace has since been enjoying airplay in South Africa, Namibia, Germany, France, and some really excellent album reviews also came from international music magazines like Metal Hammer, Rock Hard, and the South African Top 40 magazine. To launch Fallen From Grace, a concert was held which included an interview by filmmaker Dudley Vile and mind-blowing video material from Namibia's first multimedia show. Anyone who's been to CRK 22 live before will know what I'm talking about. I've got the CD here, they are in the sale at the back. This is an incredible CD, this thing really kicks us. This is going to be the hottest metal CD on the continent. Sure, I know chat Libya places like that don't have too many heavy metal bands. This is good. We're going to speak to the band very briefly. We're just going to ask them a few questions, find out a little bit about the band, and I'll tell you more later. Okay, so if anyone has never seen our band before, here we go. Sitting in my immediate right away at Johan Smith. Johan Smith is being hopeless and somewhat. And next to him is John uh, De Yaga, bassist and composer. Rebel guitarist. <laughs> Jan, tell us, Arcana's future plans. Well, first of all, now that Fallen From Grace is out, we'd love to shop the album around to as many relevant record labels, magazines, and radio stations as possible. And hopefully um, play as many South African gigs as possible, and eventually Europe. <laughs> Tunnels also featured.
band, what would you say the influences are? Um, I think it's probably all the, you know, the old great pioneers, like Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, yeah. those kind of things. Yeah, 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 they need more, they need more, what kind of thing? Yeah, Jews, Greece, Metallica. Yeah. Yeah. Metal is kind of like a real cool mode because you got to like visualize what the people are saying. Lots of fun, swearing and booze and happy people. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And dancing and headbanging and hair flying and fun. And then when you, when you come out of that mode, then you totally relax and you just want to live and you love it. Guitarist, riff composer, Sven Hoysen. Sven, uh, well, can you tell us a little bit about the history of the band? Well, we basically started out in 97. Five Australian musicians playing Paradise Lost songs in a bedroom, in the bedroom. But same year we released our demo, we played a lot of things at the coast. In 98 we had split with our original drummer. We did, however, start with the album of middle of year. And we played Sugar Drive on the show with SKW, maybe someone remembers that. And last year, Hollow Brothers went to the album and a couple of things in the but we're not finished yet. Hey, Kenna, man, what makes you so G about playing this lead guitar for our Kenna? <laughs> because it's louder. <laughs> louder? I love noise. <laughs> you love it? Yeah. Yeah? What else can you share with me? Share with me a little skill. What 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 takes to really bring up a hot tune, man? A hot tune? Yeah. <laughs> Tune. <laughs> How long you playing this, man? Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. It's been fun. But absolutely. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. Share me some of your favorite players, man. Favorite players? Yeah. Old players like Eddie Van Halen, Richie Blackmore. A lot of metal guys. Some bluesy guys like Eric Clapton. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, rhythm guitar. <laughs> rhythm guitar. What does the rhythm guitar do in this yeah, kind of music? It chugs along. <laughs> it does? <laughs> no, it does basically the heavy chords and rhythm patterns underneath the lead guitar. Underneath the lead guitar. So that's the... Like if the two of you would play, what would you do for instance? Uh, oh, shut up. Uh, the two of you? If it's tuned, I hope. Mm -hmm. How do you end up with Arcana, man? Uh, 97, frustrated inventor, wanted to play music, make noise. Got together these guys, and the rest is history. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Sweet history, I must say. Yeah. The barren land, you were part of that dream? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah? yeah. What do you think about the album yourself? You're not bluffing, but I'm sure you know what you did on the album. Uh, yeah, very chuffed, huh? that was the album, very chuffed. So I think it was a great step forward, and um, we hope to impress even more people in the overseas markets with it. So what would you suggest to my listeners when they see I cannot post this next time on the wall and on the street post? What's Go ballistic. <laughs> Come to the gigs. Buy 10 CDs each and what else? <laughs> <laughs> Basically for now we will record our albums here. It's very important for us to stay in Namibia to do it here. To actually expose also the Namibian audience a bit more to the, to the harder side of rock. Which we've done now for the last four years. And, um, but to make money out of it, we'll have to expand beyond the borders. And that means actually going for the European market sooner or later. Shed some light on the drums, please. Where does Arcana fall in, man? You heard what your brush just said about all these genres and styles. Where does Arcana fall in? Well, when in terms of the market, I would say it falls into the international market, definitely. I mean, that's what we aim for. It's not just a local thing. In terms of style? In terms of style, melodic metal, a little gothic influence in this one. Yeah? Yeah. So you're ready to beat the hell out of the world, man. Of Let me check that out.